actions that can be taken now or soon to ensure the best possible future? Well, there, the internet, through what's called the Internet Society, uh, is engaged in a lot of this discussion. There's this, what's called a multi-stakeholder process where we're trying to establish dialogues with everyone and maintain kind of a smooth governance model the, that may work. There's a risk that if you have a government position change, right, for example, let's say we, maybe Ted Cruz gets elected president and says, oh, gee, this should entirely be privatized, let's take any government involvement out of the internet and let uh, Verizon, Time Warner, and Comcast just dictate the policies for the U.S. That, that could change sort of the way the pieces fit together. The other risk is that the, the internet is in a way replacing the telecommunications network we had years back, you know, AT&T, Mobile, the International Telecommunications Union, or ITU. So we have a world standards body for telephone networks, and you can't just show up there and go to one of their meetings and contribute. You have to be endorsed by your government as a, as a representative member. It's sort of like a world congress, right? It's a very closed process that doesn't necessarily cater to innovation. It's, it's politically driven. They would very much like to take control of the standards process and of the operation of the internet. So maintaining an open governance model that keeps a uh, sort of a lock-in from occurring there is the, is the critical goal. Steps to get there, maybe we're taking baby steps with this uh, multi-stakeholder forum meetings and things like that. It needs more and I don't know what it needs. Maybe you guys can figure it out with this process.